good afternoon and thank you for coming to the Ritz-Carlton here in Los Angeles with its great view and an appropriate place to make a great announcement. You know, uh, a year and a half ago, DAZN and Matchroom made an announcement about a billion dollar commitment to bring excellence and great matches and great events to the world of boxing. And I think you can tell by the sign in front of this podium and the wall behind me that that commitment to fight fans is going to continue as on February 29th, it's going to be a great night of boxing and a great matchup. So here to tell you more about it is the man behind Matchroom Boxing USA and Matchroom itself, Mr. Eddie Hearn. Thank you, Michael, and thank you, everybody, for being in attendance today here in Los Angeles for what is a very important announcement to cap what has been a wonderful year for the zone for Matchroom Boxing USA. Of course, we're here to formally announce the fight on February the 29th in Frisco, Texas, at the Dallas Cowboys Ford Center. And thank you to Jerry Jones for chasing this fight down between four division world champion Mikey Garcia and two division world champion Jesse Vargas. It's Guerrero v Guerrero, it's a great fight. And uh, talking to Jesse on the way here, we see all the shades of Barrera against Morales here in an all-action Mexican fight that I think is going to light up the fans in Texas and also live on DAZN. It's been, a, as I said, an amazing year or so on the DAZN platform, and I feel particularly the last few months have been outstanding. And when we look back on the year at what we've achieved from a standing start, I think it's been sensational, particularly the last seven or eight weeks, of course, with Canelo Kovalev and even before that, Golovkin against Derevchenko fight of the year. We saw Renoue against Denaire. We saw Josh Taylor against Regis Progress, all fight of the year contenders. We moved to that crazy event just across the road with Logan Paul against KSI, which broke broadcast records around the world. And in Saudi Arabia, just over a week ago, we saw Anti Joshua reclaiming the world heavyweight titles in Saudi Arabia against Andy Ruiz on a great night of boxing after that epic evening on June the 1st at Madison Square Garden. It's been a memorable year with so many great nights and just two days away we have Danny Jacobs fighting Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in front of what will be over 10,000 in Phoenix, Arizona to cap what has been a marvellous year. And I'm very proud to stand here today not just after the year, but stand next to these two gentlemen because both have come to us during different times and different periods. And for Mikey Garcia, I think a year and a half of trying to get this young man with Matchroom Boxing USA and DAZN. And we had our first meeting, I believe it was at the Sheraton at LAX. I was a little bit nervous. I sat down with him and as a fight fan, this is a guy that I've watched for years and years, four division world champion. I told him that we had a plan, we had a dream to reignite the sport of boxing in America with Matchroom Boxing USA. And there was this new platform called DAZN. It was a streaming service. It was going to disrupt the pay-per-view model. And I felt like I gave it a great pitch. But I did look at him and he was like, hmm, I want to just see how this goes. And every time we had a significant movement, every time we had a significant fight or a significant signing, I would text Mikey. I would have another meeting with Mikey Garcia. Canelo Alvarez signed, Triple G signed, Anthony Joshua signed, Usyk signed, Billy Joe Saunders signed, Danny Jacobs signed, Demetrius Andre signed, Tevin Farmer signed. And it was just the momentum there that got me the opportunity to sit in front of this great fighter again. And we're delighted to be working with him moving forward, starting with February the 29th, as I said, this man was one of the first guys that jumped ship. And actually, ironically, when we sat down for our conversation, the fight that I most wanted to make was Mikey Garcia against Jesse Vargas. And um, Jesse Vargas put a lot of faith into us. He's had two great fights with Thomas Delorme and Humberto Sota. And I'm really pleased that he gets this opportunity as well to have this big standout fight. Like I said, four division world champion, two division world champion, brilliant fighters and a fight that can only go one way, which is one of pure excitement. And um, we want to thank both guys for accepting this challenge. What will be a great night on February 29th. Before we hear from the fighters and, and some of their teams as well, I want to uh, ask to come up a young man who has found out what the sport of boxing can do to you. This man looked at least 15 years younger at the launch of the zone. Um, he's learned so much about the sport of boxing, the ups, the downs, the frustrations, the arguments, but the excitement 
and the reason that we love this sport so much. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President of the Zone, Joe Markowski. Thanks, Eddie. I think less said about our arguments, the better in front of the media. But listen, I'd like to echo your comments, um, not only welcoming Mikey Garcia to the DAZN family, the DAZN team, but my excitement for the entire uh, Garcia Vargas event. You've heard me, you've heard Eddie, you've heard our marketing, more importantly, talk a lot about fight season on DAZN over the last couple of months. And Mikey Garcia, Jesse Vargas, from Texas on February the 29th, will be the official start to our second fight season uh, at the end of February 2020. So Mikey, welcome to DAZN, formally. I can remember, as Eddie mentioned, being in meetings more than sort of 18 months ago talking about our plans in the US and talking about how you're exactly the kind of fighter that we wanted to, to bring onto the, onto the service. Fierce competitor, a fan base that turns up in the arena and on broadcast, and uh, obviously an appealing fight style, so we're delighted to, to welcome you formally to the family. It's a privilege to be working with everyone on stage today. We are obviously committed financially and from a marketing perspective to delivering a, a first-class experience for our fan base. We've put together the best roster in the sport of boxing. Some of the names Eddie mentioned, Canelo Alvarez, Anthony Joshua, Triple G, and we're so glad to add uh, another Garcia to that, to that roster, and we hope that it can stay there for many years to come. Jesse, what can I say? Probably my first friend in the sport of boxing after the man behind you. You believed in our vision from day one. Uh, you were at our launch event in, in New York last July, and you headlined our first show in October in Chicago. Not only from a fighter perspective, you've provided expert analysis on all of our broadcasts. You've taught people in both English and in Spanish how to say the zone, how to pronounce the brands. You've, you've commentated on our shows. We're truly appreciative of everything you do to support our service. So thank you, and we're so happy that you're kicking off our second fight season. But to all of you in the media, thank you for coming today. Um, Hope you're all headed back to your cars. Maybe some of you invited on Eddie's plane that I've seen on Instagram this morning down to Phoenix for our, for our final show of the year. Um, Jacob Chavez, sure to be a fantastic event. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all in, in the new year. Thanks very much. Thank you, Joe. We're just going to uh, call up now a guy who seems to be representing virtually every fighter in boxing right now in Guadalupe Valencia. Um, Guadalupe was uh, one of the first guys that we spoke to. He put the deal together for Jesse Vargas to join Matrim and wants to say a few words about this particular fight that's been talked about for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, the lawyer for Jesse Vargas, Guadalupe Valencia. I want to thank everybody. Um, this is a fight that I've literally been thinking about and talking about for about a year and a half. About a year and a half ago, I talked to Robert Garcia, Mikey's brother, and I told him, you know, I was representing Jesse, and I said, wow, don't you think this would be a great fight? And the reason I thought back then, and the reason I think now this is a great fight, you have, like they've said earlier, you got a four-division world champion in Mikey who's fought a lot of great fighters, a lot of great fights, has a big fan base, he's in the prime of his career, and he's not afraid of anybody, and he's just a, a strategist, He's a brawler. There's all these great things to say about him. And then in Jesse Vargas, we have a two-division two world champion. He's a technician. He's got a big fan base. He's fought all the top fighters in the world. You know, when Saddam Ali was in his prime, he knocked him out. Nobody thought that was going to happen. He fought Timothy Bradley. He fought Manny Pacquiao. He fought Delorme. He's fought a lot of great fighters. So, and Jesse's in his prime. And so really, you have all the ingredients of a great fight. Two Mexican-Americans who are in the prime of their life. I think we have all the ingredients of a, of a great fight. And so uh, I've been pushing for this fight for a, a long time. When, uh, when I learned that Eddie was in talks with Mikey, I told him, you know, this is the fight I'd love to see. And, and finally, it's happened. And I think that the, the biggest, uh, the biggest uh, prize for everybody, I think, is the fans because I don't think that this is going to be just a normal fight. I think this is going to be a great fight. And uh, people mention rivalries. Uh, this is not a rivalry because there's no antagonism between the two, but they're two great fighters matched together. And once you know the bell rings, everything is out the door, and each person's going to try to win this fight. So I think the fans are going to be the, the recipients of a, an amazing fight, an amazing event. And I want to also thank uh, everybody who helped put this together. Uh, Al Heyman's one of the advisors for uh, Jesse. He, he really liked the fight also. We've talked about the fight. Uh, Eddie uh, believes in this fight. And so I want to thank everybody who had something to do with this fight. And we'll see you guys all in Texas soon.
Thank you. Thank you, Lupe. We're going to bring up uh, one half of this great fight. As I said, one of the first guys that believed in us and, and jumped ship to disown Jesse Vargas. He's been waiting for this opportunity, this big fight, which we promised that we'd deliver for him. He didn't moan, he didn't slag us off, he didn't tweet rubbish, he waited and believed in us and now he gets this opportunity. A great fighter, former uh, two division world champion, Jesse Vargas. Well, thank you, Eddie. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Good afternoon to everyone. It's a pleasure being here. And quite honestly, it's just faith. You know, having faith in the people you work with, and thankfully I've had that. I know I, I did my research, and I know what each person is about who is a, a part of my team. Thankfully, it's, it's worked out, and my faith continues on them. You know, I continue to have faith in them, and here we are now. The fight that we have, that we're promoting now, is against Mikey Garcia, a fight that the fight fans will definitely enjoy and are intrigued to see come February 29th on the zone in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I'm excited. I mean, you have two fighters, you know, one of myself, and of course you have Garcia, who is a very talented fighter. He always uh, puts on a good performance, and uh, he gives it his all. He's a warrior, just as I am, and I think that the fans are going to benefit from it come February 29th. You're going to see an action-packed fight, Two Mexican-American warriors going at it. You know, I have heard on social media, I have uh, fight fans commenting already. It has uh, uh, Morales versus Barrera written all over it. I'm not sure if we can live up to those expectations, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we will get close to it. You know, and uh, it's, it's a hard task to, to have in front of us, but I'm excited. I'm stoked. Uh, I can't wait to get into training camp. I mean, t literally tomorrow I'll begin. I know that Garcia is a, a tough fighter, and uh, I have to prepare properly in order to come out victorious. But uh, I mean, I have to take this fight serious and uh, not overlook Mikey Garcia. Much credit for him for taking this fight. And I uh, also let my Spanish speaking fans know Muchas gracias por venir. Les agradezco todo su apoyo. Gracias por estar aquí presente. Este, pues ya por fin, ¿no? Y este ya se hizo una pelea bastante grande. Yo siempre tuve fe en el equipo que, que tengo, en el equipo que está al lado, al lado mío, ¿no? Por creer en mí, por seguir apoyándome. Y ahora estamos en una posición para estar en una pelea del año en contra de Mikey García. Siento que va a ser una pelea para la gente, ¿no? Una pelea que nuestros aficionados van a estar gustosos de ver. Una pelea que. O sea, tengo gente que dice, pues esta pelea puede ser una pelea, pelea parecida como a un bar Barrera Morales uno, ¿no? Y uno nunca sabe, o sea, es una pelea difícil para llegar a alcanzar ese tipo de nivel, pero si alguien lo tiene, yo pienso que somos nosotros, dos guerreros mexicanos este, dispuestos a dar el todo por el todo arriba del cuadrilátero, y eso es lo que van a tener el 29 de febrero en Dallas, Texas, y pues quiero agradecerles a mi mamá, a mi papá, por estar presente y siempre apoyarme, les, les agradezco, if we can get a round of applause, un, un aplauso para mis padres, por favor, que siempre me han apoyado, they've always supported me throughout my my youth, and I appreciate that. And thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoy the fight. Tune in February 29th. Thank you all for believing in me, and um, very appreciative. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse, and uh, great words, and welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Garcia to getting ready for, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Vargas, probably, getting ready for a big camp coming up, which we know you're so involved with as well. Um, the other part of this great fight, February the 29th, a man who we are ecstatic to bring to the DAZN platform. Can't wait to see him in action. Four division world champion, Mikey Garcia. Hello, everybody. Well, I'm uh, very excited to be here. I'm very excited uh, to finally get uh, to get back in the ring. So, you know, it's uh, it's been a long, long journey, long time. I'm looking forward to another stage of my career. You know, I want to keep growing that legacy. I want to keep giving the fans fights to remember that in the end of my career, people will turn back and look at my career and be like, man, that guy fought everybody. That guy was not afraid. That guy took on every challenge. And that's, that's really what motivates me. So a fight with Jesse does that, you know. Gives me the opportunity to show everybody that there's much more in Mikey Garcia. You know, a lot more that I can deliver. And I think this fight allows me to bring out the best out of me and really give my fans, you know, 
what I'm what I what I want to give you know the full Mikey Garcia. You know, it's 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 not going to be an easy fight. I don't think it's an easy fight. I don't take easy fights. In fact, there were fights that I turned down because I felt they were too easy. Um, my dad and my brother were asking me, why don't I just take X, B, C, or whoever, you know? And I said, no, 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 because I don't take easy fights. I don't want that. I want to have a challenge. I want to have something that can really push me, that can really motivate me and excite me. And Jesse Vargas does that. He's a, a true champion, two-division champion, you know, has fought some of the best in, in, in the era, and uh, it's, it's the ch biggest challenge for me, you know, coming back, you know, after a long layoff, after my, my, my last performance, horrible performance, you know, I lost my fight. There's a lot of questions, you know, so I want to be able to answer those questions with this kind of fight. That's why we really picked, you know, and, and, and agreed on fighting Jesse Vargas. He's going to get the best out of me, you know, he's going to uh, bring the best out of me, and I think I'm going to bring out the best out of him. You know, when you have two fighters that want it as much and we know what's at stake, you know, for the future. I got big plans. He's got big plans. You know, so those are all the elements that make this such a great fight. And I'm just very happy to be here. I'm happy to be able to uh, get back in the ring. There's a lot more uh, uh, in Mikey Garcia that I want to deliver. This is the beginning of this next stage. You know, a lot of times... Fighters are, are counted out, counted off after a loss. Well, it's really what you do after that really gives that exclamation mark in, in your career, and that's what I plan on doing. You know, I'm going to bounce back. I'm going to show everybody that there's much more that I, I'm accomplished, a lot more to deliver, and, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. You know, we partnered up for, the, for this fight. We made an agreement, agreed with uh, Matchroom and with uh, the zone. I think uh, it's a great fit. It's been a long time in the making, but uh, we're happy to be here. I'm happy to really explore this and, uh, you know, it makes sense for, for both. You know, it makes sense for both. And I also want to thank uh, Jesse and his team for accepting the, the fight. You know, it's not uh, just my, you know, my decision. It's also his decision. So I thank him and his team. Uh, I want to thank Matchroom for actually, you know, putting the show together, the zone for allowing me this opportunity. I want to thank everybody, everybody, you know, without you, you know, present, you know, giving the, putting the word out and showing everybody, you know, what we're about and the kind of fight that we're expected to have, you know, the fight doesn't, doesn't get uh, as, as, as uh, publicity as it should. So I want to thank everybody again. Um, but this is not the end of me, you know, there's, there's plenty more and this is only the beginning. Um, I was saying earlier, you know, the best is yet to come. Well, this is, is part of that. You know, we're, we're, still, we're barely, you know, picking up pace. Um, I'm, just, I'm just very happy. You know, I think 2020 will be a great year, and it all starts on February the 29th in Dallas. Thank you. Thank you, Mikey. Great words. Two great champions, two great individuals, two great ambassadors for the sport of boxing. We cannot wait for this event, February the 29th, Frisco, Texas, and it's going to be a fantastic fight live of course, on the zone. We want to also thank the media here today for all your continued support throughout the year. It's been a long, long, hard road, and for as much as the fighters put the work in, we put the work in, you guys put the work in as well, because you're traveling all the time, you're at the events covering sometimes, you're not getting the interviews you want, the access that you want. We hope that the zone and matchroom, we give you that. We look forward to giving you more of that in 2020. And uh, I want to thank again Jesse Vargas and Mikey Garcia. This is going to be a hell of a fight. February the 29th. We're going to uh, have a face-off up here now, and then both guys available to the media as well, Anthony Lever and Greg from The Zone are going to sort that out. Thanks so much, and if we don't see you beforehand, hopefully you can make Phoenix on Friday, and if we don't see you there, we wish you a wonderful Christmas and a blessing 2020. Thank you very much.